Hey guys, Jack Scalfani here, as you can see. Uh, I got Chef Antonio behind me. He's going and getting all the goodies for our Korean barbecue beef. And he's the real deal. I made a I made a Galbi beef once, but he is literally gonna go do Korean uh, barbecue beef. And there's Don, my father-in-law. Say hey. Hey. Hey, see, he says hey real good. Okay, right out there is the absolute world famous <laughs> Ford Fiesta, see it? No, just kidding. Uh, that's Venice Boulevard. That's right. The Venice Boulevard in Los Angeles. There's my Ford Fiesta parked out there. And I am overlooking Venice Boulevard right now at Chef Antonio's. And we're going to lay out all the ingredients for you in just a few moments. So you want to tell us what we got here? Yeah, so basically what we have today, and this is for the Korean barbecue ribs. We're going to use a bit of sugar, not all of it, but just some of the sugar. We're going to use some soy sauce of your choice. We're going to use some sesame oil. 100% pure. We're gonna use obviously some Korean cut uh, beef ribs, some green onions that we're gonna use as a little garnish, some garlic, and some red pepper, and a bit of ginger. Okay, so I'm standing here watching Chef just, just doing his thing, right? And he's looking at me, talking to me, right? And what are you doing while you're talking to me? I was just talking to him. I'm sorry, what are you doing? Just a little bit of you're not even hands. looking, dude. You are not even looking. I would have lost every finger. <laughs> there you go. You have a little Julian onion. You just did that without looking. <laughs> Is that a normal thing for you? It's actually a normal thing for most chefs, I guess. It's because we're always paying attention to our surroundings. Right. So it's kind of, it just comes normal that you, okay. know, you I, continue to work with your hands while you're paying attention I, with your eyes. I am mind blown by that. I could, I freaked me out. <laughs> you did that with the garlic too just a second ago. Okay, can you do it one more time? Just, just look at the camera while you do that. And yeah, that's, this scares me. So, this whole onion is half onion. And right? Then. And then just, oh, look at that smile. Look at that smile. Yeah. Oh. Just gonna, we're throwing the marinade together, right? Yeah, so basically, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get some of the brown sugar. This is all about taste. And, and, and you know, some people like it sweet, some people doesn't like it sweet. It's all up to you. Me personally, I like them sweet. So I'm gonna put, this is a one pound bag. Put that about a cup and a half cup. So this is basically four ounces that I just put. This will be a 16 ounce bag, so I'm gotcha. putting, you know, four ounces of that brown sugar in there. Always taste your marinades when you're doing them, you know. Uh, as a chef, I can tell you, you know what I mean? There in restaurants you go, some restaurants are too salty, some restaurants are, aren't. Uh, you just just go where you think it's right for you. As long as you have the ingredients in there, more likely it's going to be fine. So it's brown sugar and then that's the ginger, that's, that's right? That's the ginger, that's the garlic. Use plenty of this, depending on how quick you're going to use it. If you're going to grill it right away, uh, you want to use a lot of ingredients and the reason why you want to use a lot of ingredients is because you want the strong flavor to penetrate as quick as possible. Right, because we don't have all day to marinate. Yeah, so if, now if you're going to leave it in the marinade for a long time and then maybe you just want to let it just a little bit less and let it sit a little bit longer. These are soy sauce here. Every time I use soy sauce in this type of recipes, I always cut it down. That was about a cup of soy sauce. That I'm using, and yeah. then, and this is a bit of the uh, sesame oil. I'll say I use two tablespoons of it. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna blend all this together. So and then we add a bit of water. Um, I, I I use about 50% water, 50% soy sauce, and it's just because soy sauce tends to be too salty, too strong. Uh, sometimes it overpowers everything, and you don't want that to be ruined. Oh man, okay, so I bought the ribs and I, I got I went a little crazy. He had two nice packages and I'm like, what? And I'm, I grabbed like five packages, so we're gonna have lots of ribs to eat. So we're gonna start laying them down here. Okay, so you pour a little marinade and then you lay a layer and then you pour a little marinade, you like make it a, a lasagna. Make a lasagna there. And then about how long are we gonna marinate this for? Do you think? This marinade is pretty strong, so literally 15 minutes will do right. All right. Just because... Uh, Are you a fan of Ziploc marinating? 
Yeah, you know, I, I do it from time to time. Most of the time, since I'm in a run and I need to get things done fast, and I like to uh, do a strong mayonnaise that will penetrate quick. First thing we're doing, we're just cooking the yams right now, right? We're just going to cook the sweet potatoes really quick. I'm sorry, sweet potatoes. Oh, the garnet jams, yeah. The people, some people call it sweet potatoes. The true name to it that I know by is garnet jams. Right. Sweet potatoes are the white ones. These are the white ones, yes. Yeah, they taste like they already have butter in it. That's right. Yeah, why do people screw that up? Yeah, so now that I come here, I just want to see if they're done. And yes, they are done. This is what you want to eat. If the fork goes in and comes out, no problem, they're done. Now I'm going to do it here just because I happen to have this tool. But you can do it at home also with a hand whisk. If that's what you have. This, this was two pounds of sweet potatoes. I like them buttery. Uh, but it's really up to you. I'm going to use a half a pound of butter. It should be two of those little bars that you find in the butter box. We're going to use a little bit of kosher salt. Just a tiny bit. This is going to be just to enhance, to enhance the sugar. About a half a cup of heavy cream. And then, if we can get this open, we're going to sprinkle a bit of curry powder on. This is just yellow curry powder, the one you find in any store. Did you say jello curry curry powder? Yellow. Yeah. Oh, yellow. Yeah. I'm just giving you a hard time, dude. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Just scoop them in. And you, and you <laughs> have to smooth them out. And then, a bit of... You can use real maple syrup, uh, but pancake syrup works just fine. And once again, how sweet you want it, that's how you're going to make it. I like it nice and sweet. Sweet and buttery. Oh yeah. Are there any yams? Or we're just adding yams to the, the maple syrup. We're gonna start nice and slow with this. You don't want to start it too fast, otherwise you're gonna get a you're gonna get it all over your face. So we're gonna go ahead and take some of this ribs from the bottom. You want this grill to be hot because one of the things that I was just talking to Jack about is how I like the grill works, but if you're doing too deep, according to certain studies, they can be cancerogenic. And you don't want that. So we're gonna grab those. And at the same time, I'm gonna cut some of the green onions that I have here. Forgive all the traffic in the background. We're, we're creating a crowd of people in the neighborhood. They're all driving over here because they can smell these ribs. <laughs> oh, wait, you're grilling the green onions. Oh, yeah, we're gonna grill those. I toss them a little bit on the marinade as well. Look at it glistening. I love when the meat glistens. Okay, um, he says, you know, I go to take a taste, and he's like, oh, we have forks. I'm like, oh, forks, yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, so let's try it. Now you, right. We'll try the meat first. And you, you can, uh, you can uh, have a bite of this if you guys are driving to my house right now. Um, but unfortunately, I won't be there. I'm, <laughs> I'm on Venice Boulevard. <laughs> Some people come to the studio. Oops. I screwed up. Hold on, here we go. Okay, ready? Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. That's like a restaurant. It's like a... Oh. Here we go. <laughs> what am I saying? I'm not an idiot. So flavorful. We only marinated for like 15 minutes, right? That's right. Wow. Alright. We try that next? Now we try the sweet potatoes. Here we go. Oh man. That's some good stuff. The butter of the maples is blowing up in my mouth right now. It's absolutely amazing. Try this at home. This is easy, guys. Simple. So simple. You make it look so easy. Thank you so much, Chef. You're very welcome. Pleasure. Thanks for coming to your home. Thank you, uh, Chef Antonio. You guys can thank him too for this recipe. And do me a favor in the comments, once again, tell him to get his own show. If you're a producer on YouTube, contact him at the information on the screen. I want him on YouTube. So help me out with that. We'll see you guys later. Say bye. Goodbye. Have a good one. Thanks. Enjoy.